the Great Plains of the Serengeti, where majestic animals roam freely, there's a battle raging. For some, it's a means of survival. For others, it's a billion dollar black market industry. But today, these working dogs have become the saviors of the Serengeti. The Serengeti is regarded as one of the last bastions of conservation. The animals still roam freely. That's coming under threat because of poaching, and that is where the dogs come in. At Working Dogs for Conservation, we've been training detection dogs to do conservation work for over 20 years now. We rescue dogs from all over the country, bring them here to Montana and train them, and then we deploy them on conservation projects all over the world. We've gotten heavily into the wildlife crime because of the needs. These are highly organized commercial entities. They're, they're truly cartels. So we partner with the Grimetti Fund, who's been working in the Western Serengeti for 13 years now. Let's say we are looking in a vehicle for some stolen ivory or, or bush meat. It will take three to five hours to get that car properly searched for contraband. You take a dog there and that dog will alert as to whether there's something in that car or not within seconds. They are getting the job done quickly and then we're able to go somewhere else and focus those limited resources on, on other aspects. On the job, they're hard-working agents of change, but off the clock, they're just like any other dog, playful, loving, and loyal, and their impact is undeniable. Since the time enforcement began, the buffalo population has increased tenfold, and elephants and other large game have increased more than fourfold. Today, over 20% of the Serengeti's elephants live in the safest 5% of the ecosystem, protected by the Grumetti Fund. Partnered with these highly skilled dogs are one-time poachers who have been given the chance at a new livelihood, combating wildlife crime as an elite team. I think it's very important to understand to the people in this area and these communities, there is no alternative. So what we've done is give them an alternative. <laughs> You're converting a person who was a poacher into someone who's a wildlife protector, taking a dog that's not wanted. You're training that dog up and together those two entities are now creating this very safe, protected environment in a critical area of the world. The negative effects of this illegal trade will be felt for generations to come. That's why we must continue the fight. These former poachers now have a new opportunity at a sustainable livelihood that not only benefits them, but also this iconic ecosystem. Having dogs here um, is really keeping us at the same pace as the, the poaching problem. Grimetti Fund is ably assisted by technology and the canine unit is an example of that technology. This dedicated, resilient team needs our help now more than ever. It costs a lot of money to fund conservation. It's like a, a frontline area for world survival. We're on the right track and we're having enormous impacts, but there is just so much more work left to do. So even though it's costly, we can't give up. Please visit wd4c.org 